Hello, I'm Fat Boy Chef Timmy, and this is part two in the series, A Different Kind of Biochar Test, The Mix. Uh, if you didn't see the first video, what I'm going to do is, I think biochar works, and usually they do a 50-50 mix, 50% biochar pure, 50% compost to charge it. Um, I want to step that up and see if it makes any really big drastic improvement. Um, I start with the biochar pure. Uh, the first thing I do is two weeks in a row, I give it a gallon of Boogie Brew, full strength, two weeks in a row, and then I let it sit for a month. Okay, then I start my mix of my different ingredients, way different than just compost. Four batches. For my first bed, I'm going to add 10 cups of biochar. To that 10 cups of biochar pure, I'm going to add 7 cups of Worm Gold Plus worm castings. One cup of Jamaican back guano with a NPK of 1101. One cup of Mexican back guano with an NPK of 1011. One cup of insect frass with a NPK of 222. And one half gallon of seaweed solutions. That's soluble. Uh, I mix it a half a gallon strength, and I'm going to add that half a gallon once I add all the other ingredients, and the NPK on that is 1116. Uh, I'll have everything down below, the mixes and the NPKs, and I'm trying to get a pretty balanced mix with the NPKs. Um, only thing that's really up a little bit is going to be the uh, potassium, but that's no problem at all. Okay, the second batch, what I'm doing is I'm changing the worm castings. Okay, to every 10 cups of biochar pure, I'm going to add 7 cups of worm power worm castings. 1 cup of Jamaican back guano, 1 cup of Mexican back guano, 1 cup of insect frass, and once again a half a gallon of seaweed solution soluble seaweed. The only thing I'm doing different on these two mix is the worm castings. One is going to be worm power, worm gold I mean, and the other one is going to be worm power. That's a facility that's close to me, and I was able to get it pretty cheap. Okay, mix number three. That's going to be something different than the back guano. We're going to use I mean, that one. I'm going to use the Peruvian sea uh, bird guano, and that's got an NPK of 12, 11, and 2. Okay, so because that uh, nitrogen is up a little bit. I'm going to go with the Worm Cold Gold Plus castings. And instead of adding seven cups of that, I'm going to go with seven and a half cups. Since I'm just adding bird guano, I'm going to go with one and a half cups. The same one cup of insect frass. And once again, I'm going to wet it down with a half gallon of seaweed solutions. So, those are the three mixes. The first one, pure biochar, Jamaican back guano. Mexican back guano, insect frass, seaweed solution. Second batch, and worm gold plus. Second batch, only thing different, got, I had the card here somewhere for worm power. Oh well. Uh, uh, www.wormpower.net. Um, they've got a couple of uh, places. Uh, to that one, just the worm power castings, Jamaican back guano, Mexican back guano, insect grass, and seaweed solution. Okay, batch number three. It's again the worm gold plus castings. We're going to go with the Peruvian seabird guano, same insect grass, and the seaweed. Now, batch number four. Uh, this one I mixed up last October when I first got the uh, biochar. I wanted to do a little test and I tested some flowers, some kinemations over the winter just to give me something to do because I was going crazy not being able to be out in the garden. Uh, so what I did with that one, I got that formula right over here. Okay, what I did, I took eight cups of biochar, six cups of worm gold plus, one cup of Jamaican, back guano, one cup of Sumatran back guano, one cup of insect frass, and one liter 
of the seaweed solutions. Okay, then I took that and after a week I added uh, some boogie brew to that. I wet it down with boogie brew. And then another couple weeks after that I added, um, you see here in my notes, I added another liter of soluble seaweed. Okay, so I'll have, like I said, at the bottom of the video, I'll have all this typed out. So, the difference there, uh, the only difference is instead of 10 cups, I used 8. And the only difference is the Sumatran back guano, rather than the uh, Mexican. And rather than it being a 10-1-1 on the NPK, it's an 8-3-1 on the NPK. My main thing I really want to try this one from October is to see if that period of 10 months of that bad guano breaking down and just really permeating that uh, biochar. I want to see if a one-year inoculation makes a really big difference. And uh, I can't wait to get the test started. Uh, I'm going to give you a close-up on some of this stuff down here. And uh, just in case there's any questions. Um, hey, I can't wait for part three. That's when we're going to get into... Uh, the super soil mix, I'll show you the uh, earth boxes I'm going to grow in. i got automatic watering systems, so I'm not going to have to worry about anything. anyone starving for water. Everything will be automatic and uh, no chance for uh, fat boy error, I guess we can say. Okay, let me turn the camera on these and give you close-ups. Okay, first of all, it starts right there. Right there with the Boogie Brew Pro. That's when I first start out and I inoculate the uh, biochar. Okay, then we've got the Jamaican back guano, we've got the Mexican back guano, back to the Jama Jamaican. Okay. We've got the insect frass, which is actually boogie frass. You can see right, right there, NPK on it. Okay. Then we've got the soluble seaweed extract. I learned this tri trick from uh, Joe Fesser. Thanks, Joe. And then we have the Peruvian seabird guano. That's a little bit hotter, so that's why I went with seven and a half cups of the Worm Gold Plus and only one and a half cups instead of two cups of that. 